good morning uh, my topic of presentation is nano medicine and clinical application and my moderator is dr chetan sir coming to the introduction nano medicine is a application of nanotechnology in the field of medicine so nanotechnology deals with research and technology development at 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer range the european science foundation has defined nano medicine as a science and technology of diagnosing treating and preventing diseases traumatic injury relieving pain and improving human health using molecular tools and molecular knowledge of human body so the application of nano medicine comes for diagnosis and therapeutic purposes diagnostic it helps in imaging and identification of diseases therapeutic by delivering medication to the exact location killing bacteria viruses treatment of cancer and repair of damaged tissue coming to the diagnostic uses nano materials are used as contrast agents in non invasive medical imaging tools including ct mri pet scan usc optical imaging the contrast agents used are non nano sized metal oxides dendrimers and quantum dots quantum dots are nano crystals mainly nano cadmium or nano zinc which are semiconductors and are used to tag biological molecules they produce a sequence of colors when subjected to ultraviolet radiation They possess optoelectronic properties and can emit light of specific frequencies when excited by the light or electricity. The color produced is dependent upon the size of the particle. Like small dots emit blue or green while larger dots emit orange or red. So it can be used in detection of malignant cells, antibody labeling, genotyping, multiplex diagnostics, specific DNA sequences, imaging cellular structures. immunoassay detection of pathogenic microorganism and inorganic plumpofer this is image showing how the uh, light i mean ultraviolet light is taken up and emitted and uh, depending upon the size the colors are also shown another concept is a lab on chip uh, this comes as a chip sized or uh, size of a post uh, stamps that are available commercially and it is used to monitor lithium levels at home at much lower cost and greater convenience other diagnostic applications include uh, magnetic iron oxide nanoparticles which are used in detecting alzheimer's plaques uh, colloidal gold particles used to rapidly diagnose pregnancy ovulation hiv next is uh, nanofluidics nanofluidics is a study of fluids that are confined to nanostructures So nano structures contain small size of fluidic channels hence they are used when samples are required in very low quantities such as alter counting Nano fluidics are applied in areas including analysis separation determination of proteins and DNAs The prospect of nano fluid is its integration into the microfluid system micro total analytic system or lab on chip devices for PCR So nano fluids also plays an important role in PCR detection the magnetic particles uh, show super magnetism also the physical and chemical properties depend upon the method of synthesis so magnetic nanoparticles have both in vitro and in vivo application in vitro molecules which are used for bio separation and selection detection of bacteria like escherichia coli uh, streptococcus magnetic immunoassays biosensors catalysis and cancer detection In vivo application includes nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, drug delivery, magnetic hypothermia for destruction of pathological cells such as tumor cells by heat. Next is carbon nanotubes. These are cylindrical nano structures that possess optical, electrical, mechanical and thermal conductivity properties. So carbon nano tubes or nano pores can detect the size detect a single molecule when this passes through the tube or the pore. which is dependent upon the change in the ionic current of the electrolyte solution containing the molecule of interest which results in the change of the electrical current carbon nanotubes are currently investigated in areas of drug biosensors antibiotics genes and vaccines so the toxicity is a major concern that comes uh, the diagnostic uses of nano technology now come to the therapeutic purposes The advantage of therapeutic using nanotech medicine in a therapeutic 
purposes is that the delivery of the drug to the exact locations, lesser side effects and greater efficacy, improved bioavailability, bio molecular targeting by nanoengineered devices and decreased toxicity. So the nanoparticles used may be of different uh, composition. It may be a metal, metal based nanoparticle like silver, gold, zinc. It can be lipid based, liposomes and neosomes. Polymer based nanoparticles it is dendrimers, uh, chitin and biological nanoparticles such as arginyl, glycyl, aspartic, peptide based. Coming to the first group, uh, the li lysosome, liposomes. These are small spherical vesicles composed of lipid bilayer surrounding the aqueous inner phase. Lipids are usually phospholipids or cholesterol used to encapsulate the active drug. At the target size, liposomes uses with the cell membrane and deliver the molecule. These are used uh, mainly in targeted drug delivery and cancer treatment. PG glycated liposomes make it less vulnerable to immune system. So it is a greater advantage of extended circulating time and increased uh, stability. Example of liposome uh, used in nano uh, drug delivery includes amphotericin B, guanorubicin, doxyrubicin and amic acid. Neosome. Neosomes are also non-ionic surfactant vesicles widely used as an alternative of liposomes. The advantage of neosomes over liposomes include greater stability low cost, um, decreased risk of impurity associated reactions when compared to phospholipids and enhances the penetration of the drug. Dentrimers. Dentrimers are made up of molecules having a tree-like structure having a number of small branching molecules around the central core molecule. It measures about 2 to 20 nanometer. The nano devices based on dentrimers may be used to treat cancer cell and also for diagnosis, reporting the level of tumors, etc. Next is a nanoshell. Nanoshell has have a core of uh, silica and a metallic outer layer. The nanoshell can be linked to an antibody or uh, that linked to an antibody that can recognize the tumor cells. So once the tumor cells take them by applying infrared light, they are absorbed by the nanoshell and it is possible to create an intense heat selectively destroys tumor cells. So mainly it is used for tumor destruction using uh, heat. Some of the FDA approved nanodrugs includes uh, liposomes associated include amphotericin B, doxorubicin. Uh, emulsions include cyclosporin A, engineered nanoparticles diclofenac, polymeric nanoparticles is paclitaxel, and nanocrystals include uh, phenofibrate and pharmacy. Application of nanotechnology in the pharma pharmaceutical includes nanoparticle albumin bound paclitaxel, apraxine, which is used for the treatment of breast cancer, non small cell lung cancer, and pancreatic cancer. Doxyl is an encased in liposomes, which is used for the treatment of HIV related Kaposi sarcoma, ovarian cancer, and multiple myelomas. Onuvide is a liposome encapsul encapsulated inotecan, which is used for the treatment of metastatic pancreatic cancer. Polyalkylosinoacrylates nanoparticles has been used as a carrier for targeting anti leishmanic drugs into the macrophages. Antifungal and anti leishmanic agents, amphotericin B, has been complex with lipid based nanotubes to develop a less toxic formulation. Polyethylene glycol nanoparticles carrying payload of antibiotics at its core can be used to treat multi-resistant bacterial infection. Lotifenol is a steroid which is used for treatment of inflammation and pain after cataract surgery and dry eye disease which is under clinical trial. Photodynamic therapy can be used for treating malignant cancer including cancer cells as I discussed earlier. Photoimmunotherapy combines photodynamic therapy and immunotherapy for the treatment of the metastatic cancer. Coming to tissue repair and replacement, implant clotting such as uh, biocompatible nanomaterials and coating to increase the adhesion durability and lifespan of implants. So nano coating can be applied on uh, implants uh, to increase the lifespan. Example PVA, polyvinyl alcohol can be used to clot implants in contact with blood such as vascular graft, catheters, etc. So, 
these are the uses of uh, nano medicine and its application in uh, modern medicine uh, coming to the disadvantage one is high cost uh, next is implementation difficulty and nanotoxicity these are my references thank you